Hello, my beautiful collective, and welcome back to my channel, Luma Moon Tarot. So, everybody, um, I've got a reading here started. Um, somebody's getting some readings done on you, okay? I feel like they have some kind of tarot party or something at a home. This could have happened last night as well for like some kind of um, celebration. It looks like they were having some kind of social gathering for the full moon. Or it could be, I don't know, some kind of party that went on. And they were doing tarot readings, okay? And whatever they found out, or they could be getting tarot readings. But whatever they found out, um, your masculine is now scared. Okay, they're really scared because the tarot card reader said that somebody's got a crush on you or you could have a crush on someone new. Okay, it's got your person absolutely shook. Um, and I feel like they did several tarot readings because they, they got multiple signs here. Like there, it was too much of a coincidence. Okay, for them to ignore. I feel like they did reading after reading on you or got reading after reading on you. And each time it said that you're about to get new love one way or another, you're either interested in someone else. That's a huge crushing moment for this person or someone else is interested in you. Okay. But take what resonates and leave the rest behind. Ooh. And the higher font falls on the floor. Um, I feel like this person has gotten warnings that they're going to lose you. I hope I didn't get my hair stuck in the camera. <laughs> Sorry, you guys. Um, they've gotten warnings that um, they're going to lose you. They've, they've, Spirit's been trying to give them messages um, that they needed to get out of a situation um, because they're in a lot of regret. for They know they made the wrong choice here. The fear alone of you possibly having a crush on someone else that's got this person shook okay it does they they're having a complete shakeup over it they're scared they're regretful they know they could be losing you especially if you have interest in someone else you know what i mean yeah an emperor you've got your sights set on an emperor or there's an emperor coming into the picture for you and that's what the readings over and over and over again said, okay? You could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. For some reason, I'm picking up on Libra, Gemini, Aquarius as well. So you could be like um, wanting someone else, all right? Wanting to go in a new direction here, yes. Yeah, you're going to be moving on. And this person, um, they're very distraught. This It scares the crap out of them. Like it really does. They have a lot of fear. What is this one? Star energy. You're attracting the attention of someone new. Um, and it could be this emperor. I'm telling you. And this is what they're finding out in other readings. Like I feel like they had, they hired a, a psychic. Maybe um, maybe they were having a gut feeling or they had some kind of premonition themselves that you were about to get new love. This is, it, whatever this is, it's coming through as it like a tarot reading party, okay? That's what it's coming through as. It's like a group of people. Maybe whoever this person chose over you and a group of friends, right? A karmic and her friends doing tarot on you and over and over and over again the same thing comes up you're about to get an emperor you're about to move on with someone else you could be interested in someone else yeah this is all happening today during the full moon energy this could be happening this evening okay yep and it's that group a gathering a party Okay, yeah, they're having some kind of full moon tarot party. I don't know what this is. I feel like they hired a psychic or hired a tarot reader. This is at their house. It's the same thing, a party at their house. Yeah, it's the exact same thing, Re doing readings about you, the empress. 
and it gives this masculine a crashing tower moment just like i said thank you spirit thank you divine they just um completely confirmed everything that i just said <laughs> they do that a lot so everybody say thank you to my spirit guides um yeah i love them yeah you're moving on yeah i feel like you're um you're trying to you're trying to just move on and stay out of it you don't want people all up in your business you're trying to keep your moves hidden you're not bothering anybody i feel like spirit is going to give these people some karma because they just won't leave your energy alone yeah it it you know what this puts your person though um in this energy where they're like crying over this okay um, I, I'm really getting the sense that all they can do is think about you, have memories about you. Spirit is not leaving this person alone now. They're not going to allow this person to forget about you now. You know, you were trying to just, you know, move on. Silently, quietly, peacefully move on with your life. And they allow this in their home a party of, of feminine energies that are doing non-stop readings about you. They allowed that. This is what they chose over you, a divine being, an empress. Spirit is, you know, spirit's like, okay, fine. If you're going to obsess about the collective that much, you're now you're going to be like having them on your mind 24-7. Now spirit won't leave this person alone about you. Okay, they won't leave them alone. This is their karma. This is gonna this is gonna drive your person crazy. Justice card. Did something else fall? Is it I felt it kind of hit my leg. Um, yeah, they're getting their karma. Yep. They're so nosy, they, everybody's got their nose up in your business, you know. Well, your masculine's going to find out that you're moving on with somebody else. And it's, it really is, it's, it's like excruciatingly painful for this masculine. I feel like they kind of leave the party, go lock themselves in, the room, in their room, and lay there and cry and feel sorry for themselves because they know they made a mistake. Okay, they know they made a mistake. They want to be with you. They, they, they don't want you to be interested in anybody else. Okay. But yeah, here's the thing though. How can you not be interested in the emperor? They're your perfect match. Look, this is a power couple coming in for you. You're both going to be interested in each other. That's, you know, that's the big thing here. I feel like you're both going to have the hots for each other. And um, it's going gonna, it's gonna to turn into possibly the Ten of Cups for you. Yeah, this person sat on this for too long. They, Spirit is reminding them here, we gave you the option. We gave you a choice. You had a choice to make in love. Do you want the karmic or do you want the empress? And you kept your back turned this whole time, possibly for years. And then they have this party where they're trying to see into your life and you're just trying to move on. Spirit's like, fine, this is the karma. It's like the punishment fits the crime, right? If this person, if they got to obsess about you this much, then that's what their karma is. They're going to continue to obsess about you. This person is never going to be able to forget about you. And you're moving on peacefully still, and you're about to meet a new emperor. Okay? Woo-wee! That, yeah, I, you know, and that's, um, it's, this is, this kind of karma this kind of karma is very long lasting, okay? And it's going to hurt this person every day to their core, okay? It is. That's like being in pain over what you can't, you can no longer have, 
Okay, they're, they're only going to be wanting the one they can't have. That's what this is. And that's, that's very painful and lingering, okay? Um, they're, they're not going to be able to heal from this connection now. But they wouldn't let you heal and move on peacefully. And this karma is coming to them very quickly, okay? They're going to be getting their karma, and I feel like you're going to be getting a commitment with an emperor, a power couple who's going to build generational wealth. Okay, and this person, they're always going to, they're going to know they missed out on the best thing that they ever had in their life. They're never going to forget about you. This, they're always going to be in the Four of Cups energy, crying over spilt milk and knowing what they missed out on. You're going you're gonna to end up being in the Ten of Pentacles, and they're going to end up being in the Four of Cups and possibly the Ten of Swords the rest of their life, unable to let you go and being jealous and envious of whoever it is that you're with and the life that you're about to live. Because look, you're about to be in the Ten of, of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles with an emperor and an empress here, right? Look at you. This is a, living a life of wish fulfillment with an emperor or an empress. Take it how it resonates with you. It's not gender specific, right? Yeah, they're going to be jealous, unable to let you go, unable to heal, and hurting over this possibly for years to come. Okay? That is their karma. That is their karma. And you're getting your justice in the form of all of these blessings. This is all the blessings pretty much you can have in the deck, okay? And um, a perfect match for you, a power couple. So, yeah, collective. Um, that's what I have for this reading. I do hope this helps. I hope it resonates. Uh, if you like this video, please hit that like button. Subscribe to my channel, you guys. Join this awesome soul tribe. And until next time, everyone, take care of you and peace out.